Welcome. In my last couple of videos I built a AIS receiver using a Raspberry Model B and I switched to the Model 2 because it has four USB ports so I can plug in a Wi-Fi stick as well and set up a Wi-Fi host using a DHCP server and create my own network around the Raspberry. I also built another antenna with a segment in the uh, top so I can uh, use it for testing when I'm in my car and see how it could, uh, good it works. I have to put in the last segment about half and so it's tuned to 162 MHz. Works very well. To uh, receive the data of the Wi-Fi network I uh, tested a bit around with a new display for the Raspberry. It's a 7 inch display with 10 finger touchscreen and I assembled it here already with a Raspberry also model 2 also with a USB stick uh, with a Wi-Fi stick at the at one port and it connects automatically to the host Wi-Fi network. So after setting up the software and everything it looks like this. It speeded up a bit, like 300%. It depends on how how fast it can connect to the to the Wi-Fi. It takes o o approximately 30 seconds, and then you'll see OpenCPN is started automatically. And here I uh, zoom a bit around so you can. Uh, get an idea how, how fast the Raspberry can load the charts and so on. I also has, have uh, paper charts. This is Athen or again Z, where I sail a lot. Alimos Marina. Now switching to paper charts. It has a nice interference on the camera. It doesn't look like this. Um, with the naked eye. So to make this solution a bit more transportable I uh, bought three 18650 lithium batteries and tested a bit around how I can lay out them around the Raspberry uh, and also the charging device which is a, a power boost 1000 charger from Atafruit charges with 1 amps and can deliver power or current of 1 amp. Here I also already attached everything and uh, screwed it on. There is a very manly switch which is being replaced later but to test it it's working good. You also have to add a capacitor uh, because if the battery voltage drops too low uh, the mouse cursor will jump around and uh, it becomes unusable the whole thing. So now where, is my, where my right finger was is the capacitor. So I taped everything together so it holds and here's now the first test. You see the big switch. If I switch it then it starts. Then I went to the field test. Here is the a host Raspberry with the Wi-Fi network and the antenna. I'm standing close to the Albe. Uh, I had, I was at the harbor of, of Dresden, but there was no ship sending ARS in December, so I went to the public pier uh, and I found, luckily, one small ferry, the Johanna, which was uh, doing its job, and I was happy to find even one ship. So here's the the Raspberry running. You see all the LEDs. The green one indicates that the uh, batteries are full. So uh, I unplugged it and now it runs on, on battery. The battery will last about five and a half hours. The low voltage indicator will pop up about two hours before the battery is completely drained. So maybe later I will use this information in the Raspberry to indicate the battery status. I downloaded a chart of this region from OpenCMAPS. 
I didn't check for, for, for distance or something like this. I, I wanted just to check how the network works and uh, if the uh, small Raspberry with the uh, touchscreen is uh, usable. The nice thing on the setup is I can uh, use several devices to uh, collect data or to uh, visualize data. So I can also uh, use my smartphone, connect to the AIS host Wi-Fi network and start OpenCPN on the smartphone. So for a quick check in the marina, if you go in at night, it's really, it's really handy, I think. So you see it's connected right away. The three green bars at the top. And in a few seconds, the Johanna will show up. There it is. I don't have a chart on the mobile phone, so I had also a bit difficulty to figure out how to target that how the target query works but now you see the last report is 30 seconds uh, old so the data is actual now the wi-fi setup on the phone just uh, it's called could ais uh, host it's a, a secured wi-fi network works great you have to adjust it in kplex so it the kplex sends to several devices I was close to give up and drive home, but then I got a catch. The ship is called the Prince Eugen and I followed it for uh, some time because it came right to me, to my position. There you can see, now it's at the Johanna. Let's take a look at the back. The yellow LED uh, shows that it's loading, the blue LED shows where my finger is shows that it's uh, on, the red LED uh, above this is the Raspberry power and the blue blinking one is the Edimax uh, Wi-Fi stick uh, and the yellow LED will turn green once the batteries are fully charged. So now it's almost there to check. If it's really the ship, I went out of my car and there is the, the Prince Eugen with a Christmas tree and the bow. For the power consumption, the AIS host uh, uses about 3.3 uh, watts and the, the, the Raspberry with the display uses about 5 watts, 5 to 5.2 watts, so the whole setup uses about 8 to 9 watts, which is pretty okay, I guess. Okay, thank you for watching and please comment. Bye.